Good morning, everyone, from the icy tundra of Manitoba. Of southern Manitoba. I know, not technically the tundra yet, but you could have fooled me. It's the first day after Boxing Day when I'm filming this. So I'm filming this on December 27th. It may be the new year already when you watch this. It takes me a little while to put these together. I apologize for the delay, but here we are. We had a great Christmas. I hope you did as well. We're on our way in. I have to go into work today. Uh, today is actually a uh, stat holiday. Uh, it's in lieu of Christmas, I think is how they say it, because Christmas and uh, Boxing Day are stat holidays, and they fell on a weekend this year. So what they do is they give you a day off afterwards. So Monday and Tuesday are the stats. But they asked if I could come in today. I said, sure, why not? Let's go do some trucking. You know what's really good to see at Christmas time? All these trucks. It's the only time of year when it's good to see everybody is at home. I'm glad they're all I'm glad they were all able to make it home to be with their families. I'm sure they'll all be headed out uh, today or tomorrow. It's gonna be busy. And here's all our city trucks lined up. Here's mine off on the corner. All right, girl, we're gonna have to cut your vacation short. We need to do some work here. I'm just gonna scooch in beside you here, okay? We're just gonna scooch right through here, excuse me. Oh, oh, there we go. How you doing? So usually you'd want to see all the trucks moving. You're not making money unless the wheels are turning. But there's one time a year when that doesn't apply and that's at Christmas time. And I like to see that everybody was able to make it home to be with their loved ones and their families. Very important to me personally. So uh, it makes me happy to see that this time of year. So we're gonna start up the old girl here and then uh, hopefully not get stuck. There's a lot of snow in the yard. I don't know what they're gonna get me to do today. Maybe they're gonna get me to hop in the front end loader and clear the yard. I don't know if I saw any of the yard staff here today or not, but uh, it is supposed to be a holiday, so there's not very many people in today. I was told it would be an easy day, but the weather has other plans. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Truck's warmed up, charged with air. Everything seems to be working as it should. Got no orders yet. They know I'm here. So I'm gonna see if I can get out of my spot here, make sure I don't get stuck. And then uh, head around to the front. And go say hello in person. Just make sure my logs and everything are all prepared for this so that I don't move and freak anybody out. The government wants to know right away, what are you doing, why are you moving? It's a holiday. No problem. No problem. Let's go say hello and see what they got for us. Man, this snow is getting worse. It's gonna be a fun day. I promise you that. much to do today. I mean, everything's closed down for the most part. A lot of businesses are closed down. So I don't know how much there'll be for me. It looks like I'm the only city driver in today though. The yard guys aren't even here from what I saw. So really how much could there be? They told me it would be a shorter day, but you know, when they tell me that I'm always like, oh, that's cool. But I expect in my mind, ah, it might be a full day. It might be, and I'm not upset about that. If they need me for the full day, that's what I'm here for. With this snow, I wouldn't mind going and sitting on the couch, but it is what it is. We're truckers, right? We don't stop for the weather, unless the weather gets really bad. And this is, <laughs> this is getting there. I mean, it could be worse, right? We'll do what we can. I'm gonna go pull up right to the office doors in the front. It's a holiday. Yeah, this weather is uh, a nice little thing. It'll be okay. It'll be okay. We're fine. I think I'm the only guy here, though. Maybe I get a driver out in the front and 
motor all day. That'd be fun. Just clear the snow. You can't really see it in the camera. Let's see if I uh, turn this way a little bit for you. Let's see if I can show you the buildings across the way. Oh, the trucks are in the way. Oh, whatever. It's snowing and it's getting worse. So I'm being sent home. So we're coming back Wednesday. We did have a few things to get done today, but uh, because of the weather, the uh, customers, I guess, that we were going to be delivering to aren't in either. Ah, it's just a big mess, but oh well. At least we were ready to go. There's gonna be a lot of snow. I offered to jump in the uh, front end loader and clear the yard, but they said, nah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh, it's just gonna pile up again, right? Plus, I think they have guys that are uh, trained for that. So I guess I'll go home and shovel my own driveway and my neighbor's driveway. Tony, gotta keep his driveway clear. That's my job in the winter time. He never asked me to, but he doesn't have to. I enjoy the, the workout. It's like, uh, it's an extra little workout. Because my driveway's pretty small. I can get it cleared in no time. I go over and do his too. I need to start exercising more. My belly is uh, it's growing in ways that it should probably stop doing. I don't know how uh, bad this blizzard's going to get, but we hear it's supposed to get worse yet. spot here, plug her back in, my pickup should still be pretty warm. Just gotta straighten myself out here a little bit. Yeah, I thought I'd be getting stuck more, but no, this truck's just a tank. There's no stuff in the old peak. If she starts complaining a little, you just lock up the diffs and give her there you go. You ever pop on a Facebook and think you're just going to take like a second to quickly check something? And then when you look up, you realize you've been on your phone for half an hour? And your truck is cold, your feet are cold, your hands are cold? <laughs> it's time to go home. I got distracted. I got distracted. <laughs> Shut the truck off here. <laughs> I was just gonna quickly check something. It's been half an hour. Let's get out of here. Grab my stuff here. One second. One second. Stuff in the pickup. There you go. Wunderbar. Take the good old block heater cord and pop. Plug her back into a good old Peterbilt cord. Here, here's right there. So I can do this with one hand. Put that in there, put that in there. Nope, nope. Oh, no, we're gonna need two hands. Oh man, now I dropped it in the snow. Hold on, people. There. We'll see you on Wednesday. Alright. Uh, I always uh when it's snowing outside and you park your vehicle. You always want to uh, lift your wipers up. That way they don't freeze to the windshield and they don't get all full of ice like that. Now you clear your windshield with your brush and your scraper. And you put the blades down onto the nice glass. It's just, I don't know if it helps or not. That's what other, I've seen other people doing it, so I just copied them.
Canadian government's going to be very mad at me for that. Sharing all of our winter secrets with you guys. Don't tell anybody, okay? Might not be perfect. If you have winter washer fluid in there, you give it a couple of squirts of that. Put them on high. That winter washer fluid melts the ice that's on your wipers. And there you go. Decent. I still got a little bit of ice on there, don't I? One second, one second. We gotta give the old uh, Canadian wackaroo. One second, first you gotta get him going. Okay, roll the old window down. Come here. Come here. One more time. There you go. Now remember, these are classified Canadian secrets I'm sharing with you. It's between me and you. And then they're gonna refreeze right away, right? Very close. So you gotta turn on the heat up there all the way. And get those wipers and this windshield warmed up. There's also another way of doing this, which is another classified secret I'm gonna share with you. There's more than one way to clear your windshield and keep it clear during a winter storm. You can either go this route by heating it and uh, melting the snow that hits your windshield. You got to keep that hot air blowing on it then when you're going down the highway. It gets very hot. You got to crack your windows so that some of the heat escapes. But then when the snow hits your windshield, it'll melt and your wipers will stay warm so that you can wipe it. Okay, but you're going to be very hot inside the vehicle. Now, the other way, the other thing you can do is don't heat your windshield at all. Let it completely freeze, okay? First to do this, you've got to get very cold. So you've got to open all your windows all the way, pretty much. Cool your vehicle down to the outside temperature, okay? Or this is best to do when you first start your vehicle and it's already cold. Then when you start your vehicle, crack the windows and turn it to floor heat only. So that the heat is coming to the floor and not touching the windshield. And coming around here before coming to the windshield, it goes out the windows, right? So you're warm, but your windshield stays cold. Then what happens when you're driving through a snowstorm like this, the snow hits your windshield and it bounces off and it doesn't melt and stick to it. Then you don't need to use your wipers at all, but that doesn't always work. And then if you do suddenly need to use your wipers, they're frozen and they aren't gonna wipe properly and then you can't see anything. So that's the risk there. There's always a pros and cons to both methods. And these are two very highly classified methods of keeping your windshield clear on the highway during a blizzard up here. So uh, we're going with the heated version today because I want to be warm. And the other way, you got to stay cold. You got to keep that windshield cold. So if you notice that the snow is starting to melt when it hits your windshield, you got to open the windows all the way if you have to. Cool this place down to cool that windshield down so that the snow keeps bouncing off of it. Because if it warms up too much, you're just going to be in a bigger mess than when you started. Does that make sense? We're in 4WD. Let's, let's get out of here. 4WD activate. Come on. Get me out of here. Sorry to tease you like that. We'll get to trucking on Wednesday. Yeah, there's a lot of snow here. Probably like a foot of snow here already. Nice. See the tracks there? Oh, maybe not a foot, eh, six inches. A little over six, I don't know, between six and 12 inches, somewhere in there, maybe eight inches. I'm not a scientist, I don't know. We are going to resist the urge to do donuts in the parking lot here. And we're going to calmly, collectively, and professionally leave the yard. professionals <laughs> it is tempting though it's tempting and we have our land outside of town but next year I've got to go and pull out all those roots and big stumps that are there right we're gonna get a nice flat even land so next winter we're gonna have a big old clearing on private property that I own and anytime I get the urge to go and do some donuts and horse around a little bit I got a spot. 
It doesn't seem that bad yet, but I have a feeling that uh, the highways are going to be a little bit sketchy. Ain't no one's even here now. Look at that whiteout, eh? The well, buildings over there, you can see in the distance, how oh, the fisheye lens doesn't really help. Oh, uh, they're about a half mile away. You can't really see them. So visibility is a little over half a mile. There's some trees over there. Can you see them? About a half mile, I'd say. has gotten uh, a lot more snow since I left so I guess it is actually getting worse I was wondering if it was just in my mind but no it, actually, it looks like it's actually getting worse so that's a good thing I don't don't have to go play in the snow today I'll just go sit on the couch and be a couch potato for the next two days how's that sound I haven't been able to relax all of uh, our Christmas holidays here yet because you know it's go 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 it's Christmas you think that it's a holiday to rest and relax <laughs> Oh, at least we got a lot of good food and we ate a lot. But uh, it's go, 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 right? So it's kind of nice to have these two days now just to sit. Here's my twin coming up beside me here. He was following me all the way in from work. I got a better ton of cover, though. <laughs> Steinbeck's called the Automobile City. Uh, a lot of car enthusiasts here, right? We, we love our vehicles. We love our cars, our trucks. And when I was young, you know, that was the thing to do too, you know? You go to Main Street, you drive up and down Main Street, you know? And there's always those few friends that get carried away and, you know, start racing up and down. And that really hasn't changed. Just as an adult, my attitude to it has changed. I went to thinking, oh yeah, look at that cool guy over there, to Look at that guy. You know what I mean? Like, shaking my head instead of like... I guess I've just gotten older. I got a new shirt for Christmas. You're gonna like it. One second here. Check this out. Watch out, Chevy. Excuse me. Huh? Chevy, what do you think? My teacher was wrong. I do get paid to stare out the window all day. <laughs> Chevy, what do you think? Clever? Got it from mom and dad. It was uh, one of the Christmas uh, gr Christmas gifts that came in a little late. Not all of their gifts uh, came in on time. And as a truck driver, we understand why. It's a little overwhelming at this season. A lot of stuff needs to move. We're not in the package or parcel delivery service, so that's a total different sort of part of the industry altogether. But, you know, it does get busy around the Christmas season, and also at the same time, everyone wants to get home to be with their family and loved ones, including all the drivers that are delivering all the products for your Christmas. So it's, it's a balancing act for uh, dispatchers, people in the office, to try to get all of the freight out on time, but also try to get the drivers back in time to spend Christmas and the holidays with their family. So it's... This time of year must be very difficult on them. So big thank you out there to all the load gods and all the dispatchers and uh, people in the office out there. Uh, yeah, I don't think I, I would be cut out for it. I've never tried either really, but I, I don't like sitting in an office. I like staring out a window. Well, it's all I've ever done and like my shirt says I was always told that I would never 
be able to make a career out of that and prove them wrong, didn't I? So that's that's what I like to do, but it, it's a balancing act, getting everybody home in. And uh, judging by all the trucks in the yard this holiday season, they've done a good job. And uh, hopefully all of your packages and parcels arrived on time. I know a lot of people have to wait and uh, I don't know how it is in the package delivery world, uh, but it must be overwhelming. It must be at Christmas time, especially now with Amazon, all this online shopping and everything. But as I wrap this up, it is already 2022. It is the new year. I hope you guys have a happy new year. I hope you had a very Merry Christmas. I hope you had a very happy whatever holiday you celebrate during this time. I know there's a whole bunch of other holidays. I hope you had a happy Hanukkah if you celebrate that. I'm sure there's other things people celebrate. Uh, happy Yuletide. Uh, happy winter solstice celebration. Well, happy uh, whatever else there is. Oh, and to you uh, Eastern Orthodox people out there, Russian, Ukrainian, all those people, you guys are still waiting for your Christmas to show up. So I hope you have a good Christmas in your case. Did I cover all the bases? I'm trying to cover everybody here. If I missed you, I hope you have a good day. All right, if you don't celebrate any of this stuff, well, hey, get with the program. Get jolly. Let's, let's celebrate. Find something to celebrate. It's the holidays, right? It's supposed to be happy this time of year. Be happy. Dang it. I'll see you guys uh, in my next video through this holiday season. Like I told you my last one, I haven't been filming every day. So I don't know when the next one's coming out. But don't worry, I haven't disappeared. I'm still here. There are new videos coming and we're going to get back to a regular schedule uh, in the new year here. Probably next week. I'll see you later.